we are on this road because we were going to see Pivot Rock, which is something that's been in um, Ripley's Believe It or Not. But I noticed that from here you can see the Christ of the Ozarks. Okay, steady girl. Christ of the Ozarks, huge statue. And the Crescent Hotel, the famous legendary haunted Crescent Hotel, which me and the Ghost Geeks are going to be there in March for a conference and ghost hunt and stuff. Which is kind of cool. Way off in the distance. Yeah, oh wow, look at this. I probably got enough. Eureka Springs is very much German and Swiss based. A lot of the buildings look like little Swiss chalets. There's also a lot of Victorian, just American Victorian architecture. That's pretty simple. The Switzerland of the Ozarks. Oh, there's Rosalie House. Oh, what all? Yeah. Got a lot of the beautiful painted lady houses. Oh yes, please. Oh my gosh, look at this funky mess they've got here. Wow. Eureka Springs is populated greatly with artists. With artists. <laughs> Extremely quirky people, gays and lesbians, uh, Wiccans. It attracts just your average white bread tourists. Like us. Like us. Well, we're not exactly white bread. Well, no, we're artists. I'm not. <laughs> So it's like this fabulous hilly place way up in the Ozark Mountains and just all these beautiful old buildings. There's a lot of stained glass and just artsy fartsy details. Of course, you know, little log cabins and things. I think I stayed there once. Yeah, I believe that was the place. Luigi's Cafe is a really good place to go get some chocolate silk pie. You gotta sit outside when you go because there's a little natural waterfall there. Tiki Torch Club, huh? That's new. Uh huh. There's the bank. Do you think any of these places are open today? I don't there's know. There's anybody here. Maybe not. There's the there's the damn trolley. These great buildings. Little narrow street. I was talking to mom earlier, telling her that this has become a a big spot for um, bikers. A lot of bikers come down through here. A Dickens of a Christmas. That uh, that they come through there and they love to ride up and down these streets and up and down. There's two dumb Danes fudge. That's a great place. I promise ghostly talk people I bring them from someplace great for fudge. Um, what was I saying? Now what does that lead to? Do we even know? No, we don't know. There's the Basin at. Street Hotel right there that I was saying is kind of, when I went up in and I found it to be kind of run down, but it's still, it's certainly charming. There's lots of hilly places and stairs and I don't know if I'm up for it. I guess I'll have to be though because we're here. Yeah, there's lots of fudge places. That seems to be kind of the thing. You can get, um, hammered dulcimers and fudge and lots of, of art things. I think no, it's like a trading company. Christmas Christmas? Memories, it's right there. Okay. Right on. You can get some of the best There's cinnamon. No some of the best cinnamon rolls. What was I talking about? Oh, the bikers. They come through here. This is a good little restaurant here on the corner too. <laughs> lots of rainbow stuff. And it makes so much noise because of how narrow the street is. And all these businesses just like right here that kind of scares the, uh, scares off a lot of the tourists. Now going up here in the neighborhoods is great too. It scares off a lot of the tourists and it's actually causing structural damage. That's cool down there, little art and bubbles blowing around. And it's all just kind of like, it feels very carved out of the mountains. It feels very uh, like it's growing out of the mountains, actually, to me. It's storybookish to me. It's very storybookish. Silly chili. <laughs> Generally, the park. 
Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of artwork just like hanging up there out in the open. It's really a park somewhere and walk up and down the street and go in all of the little shops. It's so pretty. see the mountains and snow up behind the buildings and then a lot of these oh look at the big nutcrackers awesome a lot of these places you can walk down little steps at, slow down I'm trying to get this this is a little area where there's a stage a lot of times they have a piano out there looks like they have put up nativity things and there's bluffs there's actually some people sitting up there it says on that bench See, look at the people sitting up in the bluffs, and making them making them feel awkward. I think. Uh, Deepen the art of the Ozarks, ha ha ha! Eureka Springs. <laughs> wow, look at how nice! And this is how somebody how nice this area is. They don't have to fear for people coming along and stealing this stuff. Kitty, kitty, kitty is gone. Oh, it's Turpentine Creek wildlife singer now. Yeah, there used to be a shop right here called Kitty Kitty Kitty, and everything in it was it's kitty stuff. There's CC Cinnamon Fa Cafe. They've moved. No, that's where they were. Oh, I thought they were upstairs somewhere. Well, but then it is this upstairs. little road goes off, and there's parking down there, isn't there? Well, yeah, but we have to walk up. Funnel Cake Factory. <laughs> Not a lot. There's parking right over here. It's quite a ways back to the Christmas store. Yeah, quite a ways. So my knee doesn't want to do a whole lot of walking. Going down this way. There's a crosswalk up there. Get you back up to the See, higher that's where road. The cinnamon factory is, and it's on the second floor. Oh, okay. Building. Look at the the carriages. Uh. Wow. Big old turtle shell on their building. That's kind of creepy. Look at this shit. Yeah, it's a great big sea turtle. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. How more. fun. Oh Pretty my gosh, y'all. Right look at this. Oh, oh, look at them all up in the tree. It's an odd colony on the roof. No doubt. That's pretty cool. That is awesome. I love this place. Look at this funny little narrow Victorian building. How funny. It's a little Look at the roof line East on Indian that. Yes. Indian top down here. A Moroccan looking. Yeah. How funny. That's just you. That's the gay man in me talking. That's creepy. Yeah. There's someone behind us. Well, too bad. We're being tourists today. House. Look at that. Ooh, how funny. There's all this crazy stuff. It's hard to know where to look. There's so much crazy stuff. <laughs> little train station. I never get to go on train rides. I'm always sick or being a, being a wiener somehow or another. Yes. We're at Gaskin Switch Cemetery. I'm trying to check out some cemeteries today for possible ghost hunting in March. I've got to undo the gate, I guess, and walk up in there. Looks pretty small. It's very, very small. Nothing much exciting here. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, now I can't really see it. <laughs> It's just like art, just standing out here. It's a wonderful little sculptural figure. And with the bluffs behind her. And then there's this, which I can't see because I'm too close to it. And the car's not angled right. There's tricycles and bicycles and parts off of cars. And Can you get it now? Yeah, there we go. Without admitting it, that... Uh, 
having Polititalk here. Bush is a natural disaster. Uh, that made everybody sick when I turned the camera. Stuff went by really fast. Garlic's lingerie and curiosities. I've been in there. It's like Fredericks of Eureka Springs. 